time to put the piston rings on the second one. This is a Lyle brand piston ring pliers. Probably didn't tell you that. So far the hardest part of this is actually getting the oil, the oil rings in place. So I've got the oil rings, oil rails, oil expansion, top ring and bottom ring. Get the marks up. First thing I want to do is get the oil expansion in there. Make sure the gap. Okay, they're butted up. It's hard to see, even for me. They are butted up. I wasn't able to get expansion ring pliers to work on this real thin ass rail. I know this is probably a no-no, but I couldn't figure out any other way to do it. Alright. Alright, we got a bit of an overlap there. I think I actually found it easier to get the uh, two rails in place and then put the expansion ring in. I'm not sure why either. Let me put it in here. Make sure you don't mess everything up. Because I bet like this is steel and this other thing is aluminum. The piston is aluminum. I can just see the, the joint here. Come on, man. You see why I got frustrated the first time? This is frustrating. I'm telling you. To get the damn thing in there where you had wanted it, and then all of a sudden, the expander says, fuck you. Now, why is that? What's going on there that I don't understand? See, now it's in there perfectly. Yet he wants to fight with me just a second ago. Now my ring is slightly tweaked. I can see it. God damn it. I 
can see right now the key is going to be get that expansion joint, the expander joint butted up and then put the put the peak, put the get it started right next to where the joint is and then you're going to have to clock it because me trying to get it might be some sort of a locking mechanism on that spring on the wafer, I'm not sure all I know is you keep it locked together and you can get the you keep the butt joint of the wafer of the expander ring in there on and then get it started next to it and it goes in but if you get the expansion ring in there first or the uh, rail that joint ain't going to go in must be uh, the way it's designed so now I have to I'm, once I get that on I have to clock the all the but all the joints and uh, I'll show you that in a minute okay Top side still up, second ring. Notice I got a flat side and an upside, so I'm only, I've been putting the flat side down, getting it, get that ring up against the piston, so I, I know exactly how far I have to open it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it this way this time. Top side up, do the same thing. There you go. Sean, this is for you. I did it, buddy. No broken rings. I even put one on and took it back off. Expansion ring was the hardest thing. Got to get the expansion expansion ring on first. Get the make sure that you have the uh, where the butt joints are the joint it together down inside there. Then get the ring started and then get it spun around and spun the second one. It worked out pretty good like that. Well, that was more of a, I watched other people put them on and have no problem. But I did. Thank you for watching. I will, uh, oh, hold on. I'm not leaving. I'll show you how to clock these things as soon as I get, open up my manual and see where I got to put the gaps. Alrighty. Now, this is what's clocking. This is the top of our piston. Now we've got, you see I've got the top, second, the expander, which is the middle, then upper and lower rail. So the positions are going to be, and this is facing, we're going to say that's facing forward, it really wouldn't matter, so, but we'll say that's facing forward. We're going to put one down here, that'll be around the 730 position. This one will be, two will be up here, that'll be the second one. That'll be at around the 130 position. The oil expander is going to be up here to 1030 position. The top, the bottom of the uh, upper rail will be back down here underneath the oil at the, the top one at the 730. And the lower spacer will be back over here at the 130. That's basically an X shape. You can, uh, as you can see, if you divide this up, not quite into six equals. It actually, it is six equal sections. You will get a good divider. So if you cut it into six pieces of pie, then go at it, and then take the gaps of your rings and move them to those positions. That's going to help you with your blow by when you first start up your engine. That's uh, what we call clocking, clocking the rings. <laughs>